Hello my lovelies, I hope you are well. Welcome back if you've been here before and just welcome if you're new here. Today we're going to be doing a deep and stretchy lower body flow. So getting into the legs, the hips, the quads, all of that lower body. I was practicing my pistol squats yesterday so my legs are definitely in need of a good stretch today. So if you're feeling the same then this is the practice for you. We're going to get started today in a long stance Baddha So bringing the soles of the feet to touch, keeping a nice gap between the feet and the groin, letting those knees drop out to the sides, stacking the head over the heart, over the hips, letting the hands rest wherever is comfortable, keeping those shoulders nice and soft away from the ears. Let's take a moment here to connect to our body, to connect to our breath. Taking deep breaths in and out through the nose. Filling up that belly with air on every single exhale. and releasing all of that air on every exhale. Maybe as you pay attention to the breath, it starts to get a bit smoother, a bit deeper, a bit longer. And just take a moment here to notice the sensations in the body. So check in with any areas of tension, any areas that feel a bit tight, any areas that need a little extra love and attention from you today. As you're ready, let's extend those legs out straight. So flexing those toes back towards the face, rooting down through the thighs, keeping those legs nice and active. Let's inhale, reach those arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold down over those legs, bending the knees as deeply as you need to. The priority here is keeping a nice long spine. So. The aim here is not to reach the toes or to bring our chest down onto our legs. The aim is to have lovely alignment in our spine as we feel into the backs of the legs. So you might bend both knees deeply. You might bend and straighten one leg at a time. Two more deep breaths here. Now inhale, reach those arms up for the sky. Exhale, fold. Grace those arms along the mat as you breathe in and stretch up and release the air as you fold down over the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Make it nice and fluid. Breathing in to get tall, stretching to the sky and breathing out, folding down. Let's take two more. Deep breaths in, filling the lungs. Deep breaths out, releasing that air. Last time, reach for the sky, stretching those fingertips, and then reaching down. As you're ready, come back up to a seated position, then cross the ankles over, roll onto the knees, making our way into a tabletop position. Let's inhale, extend that right leg out long, 
then bend that right knee and start to take nice big circles with that knee. So imagining like there's a paintbrush stuck on your knee and you want to paint a circle in the air next to you. Let's switch directions of that circle. And then inhale, extend that leg out long. Exhale, draw that right foot to the outside of the right hand, coming into our lizard pose. So a nice wide stance here. You might roll onto the outer edge of that right foot, taking it even deeper into the hips. And if it feels good for you, you might come down onto the forearms and just feel into the pose. So maybe you rock from side to side. Maybe you draw some circles with the hips. Or maybe today you just find stillness. Maybe that is what your body needs right now. Now, either staying down on the forearms or coming up onto the hands, just seeing which feels best in your body. You're going to bend in that left foot, then reach the right hand around for that left foot, coming into the quad stretch. So maybe drawing that foot in closer, then taking it further away, levering it back and forth. And maybe every time you bring it closer, you get a little bit deeper than the last time. Just take it to the edge of the stretch in your body. And then take it to your edge and just let's hold here. Take three deep breaths. Sending that breath into the left quad, into the hips. And then release that foot. Start to walk the right foot towards centre, stacking that right knee over that right ankle. And then let's straighten that front leg coming into our Ada Hanumanasana. So drawing the right toes back towards your face, feeling into all of the back of that right leg. Let's inhale, get long, exhale, fold down. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Fill the lungs with air as you rise, release that air as you fold and hold. And you're going to rock your way forwards, back onto that right foot. Then bring the hands to the inside of the right foot and spin your way around into a side lunge. So left toes are pointing up towards the sky. You can keep the hands on the mat. You can bring the hands to press at heart centre. Or you can reach those hands up towards the sky, finding a little bit more strength here. If your hands are pressed at prayer, you can use that right elbow to help you even open, even deeper into that left inner thigh, into that right hip. Just make sure the chest is nice and lifted so we're not totally collapsing or hunching over. And I'll just pop your bum down on the floor Grab hold of that right ankle with the left hand and then sweep that right arm up and over, reaching towards the left toes, coming into a side body stretch here. Ah. 
and released from that stretch. Now, either using the hands to support you or just finding a bit of strength, you're going to lift back up into your side lunge and then spin your way around into a revolved side lunge. So coming onto the outer edges of both feet, right knee is bent, hips are dropping down towards the ground. Let's inhale, extend, lifting that hip off the ground, then exhale, cactus that arm. Inhale to extend, exhale cactus. Inhale, extend, exhale cactus. Now inhale, extend and spin your way back into a low lunge. This time the back knee is lifted and then step your way back to a plank position, back to a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose here. Maybe pedaling out through the legs. Maybe swaying those hips from side to side. Noticing any differences between the left and the right side of the body. And let's drop down onto the knees coming back into our tabletop position let's inhale extend that left leg out behind and then start to take those big circles with that left knee keeping the weight evenly distributed through both hands so not collapsing into one shoulder and let's switch directions Let's inhale, extend that leg, exhale, draw that left foot to the outside of the left hand, maybe rolling onto the outer edge of that left foot, maybe coming down onto the forearms and just finding some intuitive movement here. So swaying from side to side, maybe taking baby circles, rocking from front to back or finding stillness. And noticing maybe how this side feels different from the other side. Then once again, either on your forearms or coming up onto the hands, we'll bend in that right leg, reach that left arm around and start to draw that foot back and forth. Getting a nice twist in the spine and an opening through the chest here as well. So getting into the lower body and a little bonus upper body at the same time. Now take it to your edge and hold for three deep breaths. Then release that foot, walk the left foot back towards the centre line into our low lunge and then straightening that front leg for our half split. Deep breath in, come up to a flat back, release as we fold. Two more times with your own breath. Inhaling to lift and exhaling to fold. And then fold and hold, breathing into that back leg. And then rock your way forwards into that lunge and spin yourself around into your side lunge. Once again, those options are to have the hands on the floor, 
at heart centre or reaching up for the sky. And then plonk yourself down on the mat, grabbing hold of the left ankle with the right hand and then stretching that left arm over for the right foot. And then once again, unwinding, maybe finding the strength to lift yourself back into your side lunge before pivoting your way all the way around into a revolved side lunge. On the outer edges of both feet, let's inhale, lift the hips, stretch that hand, exhale, cactus. Inhale, extend, exhale, cactus. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cactus. We might have done an extra one on that side. And then spinning your way back into a low lunge with the back knee lifted, stepping it back to plank and then back to downward facing dog. As you're ready, start to walk those hands to meet the feet, coming into a fold at the back of the mat. Bending and straightening one leg at a time. Let's inhale, come up to a flat back. And then exhale all the way up to standing. You're going to walk the legs out wide, coming to face long ways. So heels are pointing out slightly, toes are pointing in. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, folding down. Maybe coming onto the hands. Maybe starting to walk those hands back between the legs. Maybe wiggling the hips around from side to side. Now inhale, halfway lift, come up to a flat back, then turn those right toes to point out, we'll side lunge onto that right leg. Either using the hands for support or finding some strength, let's take it over to the left. Back to the right, over to the left, back to the right, over to the left. And now this time we're going to launch up into a goddess pose so all ten toes pointing out to the edges of the mat knees stacking above the ankles and drawing towards the pinky toes head over heart over hips let's sway from side to side here then bring the hands onto the knees Dip that right shoulder in, using that right hand to push that right knee even further open. Back through centre and dip that opposite shoulder in. And then let's come back to centre, hands at heart. And then inhale, straighten those legs, reach up for the sky. And then once again, turn those toes in, heels out and release the air as you hinge from the hips coming back down into a fold. And now you're just going to use the hands to support you as you plonk yourself down on the mat, maybe gracefully, maybe not, and then extending those feet towards the outside edges of the mat in our Upavista Konasana. So the toes are flexing back towards the face. Spine is nice and long. Let's sway from side to side here. So maybe it's just a tiny sway. Maybe that sway gets a little bit bigger. 
maybe you take it all the way into some side stretches so reaching one hand towards the opposite foot swaying to the other side all just options here if you're taking those side stretches just even it out so equal number of stretches on both sides then let's come back to center and start to walk those hands forwards so I like to sway from side to side as I make my way down and the aim here is not to reach the head and the chest towards the ground you want the first thing that reaches the ground to be your belly so that might mean that nothing reaches the ground at all and that's absolutely fine you might create a little pillow for your head to stack on with your hands And notice whether your legs have gone floppy. So try and keep them nice and active, even as we soften and stretch here. And use those hands, press yourself back up to a wide-legged seat and then bring the soles of the feet back towards one another so landing back in our Baddha you might bring the feet a little bit closer towards the groin this time inhale puff up through the chest get tall exhale maybe start to fold down over your legs using the elbows pressing into the thighs to take you a little bit deeper and release press your way back up then spin your legs around in front of you extend those arms out long and slowly roll yourself down onto your back let's hug the knees into the chest then bring the hands to the knees and start to take them in nice big circles taking them away from each other in opposite directions and let's switch directions Now keep hold of that right knee, extend that left leg out long and draw that right knee in towards the right armpit. So hooking that right leg with the right elbow, keeping the right foot flexed. Now bring that right knee back to centre, bring the hands to interlace behind the back of the right leg and start to walk them up drawing that right leg towards the face keeping the hips and the shoulders rooted down into the mat you might take some circles with the ankle here going in both directions you might bend and then re-straighten that right leg And then release, re-bend that leg, bring the hands to interlace around the back of the right thigh and then bring that left knee in, crossing the left ankle over the right knee. You can stay here or you can bring the hands to interlace around the right shin, using that left elbow to press that left knee open and using the strength of your arms to draw that right thigh closer towards the body. Make sure that those left feet, those left toes are really nice and active, nice and flexed. Now 
and then you're going to release the clasp and that left foot is going to carry on traveling around that right leg so coming into some twisty legs you might take the single or the double wrap and then let those knees drop over to the right hand side coming into an eagle twist deep breaths in through that left side body keeping both shoulders rooted down into the mat and gazing wherever is comfortable And then unwind, unravel yourself, give those knees another big squeeze. Then you're going to keep hold of the left knee, let that right leg go out long and hug that left knee in towards the left armpit, keeping those toes flexed. Then bring the hands to interlace behind the left leg, start to walk them up that leg. You might not be able to get as deep on this leg or you might be able to take it deeper. So just take it as far as you need to on this side, listening to your body. Maybe taking those circles with the ankle, maybe bending and straightening the knee. And then slide those hands down the back of that leg. Bring the right ankle to cross over the left knee. And then either keeping those hands behind the thigh or bringing them around the shin. Notice whether your hips or your shoulders are lifting off the mat. Try and keep them nice and rooted down into the earth. And release the clasp. Right foot carries on traveling to a double wrap or single wrap round that left leg. Then we drop those knees over to the left. And unravel yourself, give those knees one final squeeze, maybe drawing the forehead in towards the knees. Then release back down and let's take a lovely happy baby before we finish. So reaching around for either the inside or the outside edges of the feet, drawing the thighs down into the mat. You might bend and straighten one leg at a time, taking it into the inner thighs, trying not to whack the door like I just did. <laughs> and then release those legs. Option here is to take a Supta Baddha Konasana for your Shavasana. So soles of the feet together, knees drop out wide. You can bring blocks underneath the legs you can bring the hands to the inner thighs or you can just take a traditional shavasana if that's more comfortable for you. Whichever option you've chosen, just soften into the mat, dissolving any tension left in the body.
Letting the breath return to its natural rhythm, but keeping it smooth and soft. Sorry if you could just hear my belly rumbling. <laughs> If thoughts are in your mind right now, just notice them, let them come, let them be, and then let them go. Return to your body, return to your breath. Maybe noticing all those places where your body is connected to the mat, where the earth rises up to support you. As you're ready, start to bring some gentle movement back to the body. What is your body calling out for today? The way you exit Shavasana today might be completely different from yesterday, from tomorrow, from any other practice. So just listening before coming up to meet in a comfortable seat. Dip that chin, find some length through the back of the neck. Deep breath in through the nose and sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Lift the gaze. And that is you done for the day with your lower body stretch. Hopefully you enjoyed that and it's got your legs feeling good. If you did, please leave a like and a comment letting me know what you thought and subscribe so that we can practice together again soon. Hope you have a wonderful day.